Well, more pleas for help tonight as more migrants arrived in Chicago over the weekend. And we're about to hear from more community members during a meeting tonight. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live in Pilsen. Jenna. Yeah, Mike and Ray, the community is gathering here at Benito Juarez Academy for a meeting tonight about a new shelter that's coming to Pilsen as Governor Pritzker calls on the federal government to step up. In a new letter to President Joe Biden, Pritzker calls the federal response to the crisis uncoordinated, and he says the federal government has largely ignored Illinois' request so far. The governor writes, the federal government's lack of intervention and coordination at the border has created an untenable situation for Illinois. There is much more that can and must must be done on a federal level to address a national humanitarian crisis that is currently being shouldered by state and local governments without support. The governor recommends the president create a single office with an identified leader to oversee the border and coordinate with cities and states. He wants the feds to give the state more money for housing, food and social services and speed up the work authorization process for asylum seekers. His plea comes after more than 15,000 migrants have arrived in Chicago, many of them living right now at police stations. Two busloads of migrants arrived at CPD's Area 2 on the far south side over the weekend, and Alderman Anthony Beal is sounding the alarm there about just how untenable the situation is becoming. The problem with that is the Area 2 5th District is a sex registry where you have um, sex offenders that have to come and check in on a daily basis and you have women and children that are being housed there and that's totally illegal. We have reached out to Chicago police and the mayor's office for a response to his concern. So far, we have not heard back. Uh, meantime, the meeting here in Pilsen about the new shelter coming here is scheduled to get underway in the hour. We are live in Pilsen. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Thank you, Jenna.